Hello everybody, my name's David Bailey. This is my wife, Patty. We're here today to secure a £100,000 investment for a 20% stake in our new business, Motor Mouse. Over one billion people use a computer and we spotted a gap in the market for an executive level, beautifully designed and well-engineered wireless computer mouse. And it's our intention to launch a range of computer mice in the shape of iconic and classic motor cars. Now, the idea is to build a high-quality, highly engineered product. For example, on the prototype that we built, the left click is built into the bonnet and so is the right click. The uh, scroll wheel in the middle is built like a spare tyre, a rubber spare tyre. The boot flicks open where the batteries go and there's battery saving technology built into that as well. The boot also stores the smallest wireless receiver in the world, which obviously goes into the computer to connect to the, to the mouse, but stores in the boot for transit. It has chrome alloy wheels, real rubber tyres and a very high quality paint finish. Our first model, which was a pilot to test the market, is a generic sports car. It retails at £29.99. To date, our sales have exceeded over 3,300 units. Our turnover has exceeded £73,000. And we're currently working on a gross profit margin of 55%. Everyone that sees this product loves it and we're convinced that the success that we've achieved so far in five months has shown us that there is a market for Motor Mouse. But what we intend to do is to build licensed, branded products utilising the intellectual property of the motor manufacturers that we intend to partner with. In fact, I came back from Italy on Thursday night and we already have a contract, a licensing agreement with a major Italian supercar manufacturer. Thank you. It's a confident pitch from husband and wife, David and Patty Bailey, who are asking the Dragons for £100,000 in return for a 20% share of Motor Mouse, their high-tech wireless computer mouse. But Peter Jones has been sidetracked. David, do, actually, David, do you mind if I call you Q? Q? When you were packaging it and coming up with this idea, I felt for one minute... I was James Bond. He was Call me anything you like, Peter. As long as I invest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say that. You <laughs> said that. Yeah. Have you thought of anything else apart from this one product? I mean, being Q, you come up with all kinds of things, as you think. <laughs> um, I, I have another invention which is patented, but that's not... What's that? It, it's a, a boat-washing device. Is it the plastic loop yeah. that it goes... I've seen, I've seen it. I invented it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, seen it in the catalogues. That's right. Yeah. David... I mean, it hits all the buttons, doesn't it? I mean, I'm, I'm a boy and I love cars. It's, it's just... It's my little dream, really. Um, so how many people like me, God forbid, are out there? We believe the market to be extensive. Um, when we took it direct to the public, um, we were selling it to um, business people, we were selling it to um, uh, younger um, purchasers, we were selling it to aspirational 20-something purchasers. So th there really um, was quite a, a broad range of people. What's the nearest product to this? OK. There, there are various other um, uh, computer mice in the shape of cars on the market. Um, our research has shown us that most of those are aimed at the novelty market and perhaps would be considered more as novelty toys. What we try to develop and what we feel we have developed is an executive gadget in the sense that somebody like yourself would actually be happy to have that on their desk. David and Patty's product may have captivated one dragon, but retail expert Theo Pafitis wants to know more about its creators. Right. Theo? I'm Theo. I want to know who David and Patty yes. are. OK. Well, I run an independent uh, sales training business. I'm a self-employed... A training consultant. I work within the new homes uh, construction business. And what about David? Well, for the last 23 years, I've worked as a, an international consultant for a large consulting firm, um, basically fixing sales businesses around the world. And I took an opportunity after 23 years to leave the organisation um, to pursue this. You've just signed a licence with a major Italian car manufacturer. Supercar. 
manufacturer. Supercar manufacturer. Correct. The specifics on that will be to manufacture the, the certain brand, which is the latest design model. However, the price point for a branded licensed product would not be this $29.99. I would think it would sell somewhere in the region of $35.99, around about £36 mark. How much money have you put in the business so far? We've put in so far £45,000 of our own money. All right. And the money has also been transferred across from another holding company that we have. It's an impressive background and the duo are displaying a level of composure rarely seen in the den. Deborah Meaden has been listening intently. You mentioned that you had another business or you had other, another yeah. company, so what's, can you talk about the... Q, my husband, does have lots of ideas about developing different things. Um, and we decided that we, we needed to create a company to try and take advantage of that and see if we could develop something in that area. Um, the one thing that, uh, that, that, that I know about is property and uh, I knew there was opportunities for us just to, on a very small scale, just trade a couple of properties each year just to create some capital for us to start to develop some of these items. Right, OK. Hi, guys. Um, <clears throat> I think you're excellent, but you present well, you're very professional, you're very eloquent. And interesting enough, this is what you do for a living, you know, sales and marketing. That's true. So I'm just trying to see where... What's that missing link? I, I can answer that for you, James. OK. Our, our missing link is in the retail expertise and uh, contacts that, that we don't have. And the, the retail um, world is something that we have very little experience in, either of us. Uh, and, James, the mouse market is huge. There's millions of suppliers. OK, and who is your potentially your biggest single customer as a retailer? Would Dixon's buy this? Would PC World well, buy this? We've had discussions, uh, tentative discussions, because we've only just had, uh, you know, a live product, with uh, the airside retail of one of those names that you mentioned. And there's great interest, but that's all it is at the moment. David's given a promising account of their fledgling business, but pitching to the Dragons at such an early stage can be a risky strategy for entrepreneurs. Retail magnate Theo Pafitis is ready to have his say. Quality of the product, fantastic. Probably the best quality mouse I've ever seen. Packaging, excellent. But competition out there, lots. Mm -hmm. uh, the price point for these needs to go way down. Right? What would you way, suggest? Way, way down. I mean, it, it, you, you would have to start selling these at 20 quid, not 30. So you are way off the mark on that. Even if you're with the branded. Even with the branded. Do not kid yourself about the branded. So I'm going to wish you the best of luck and say, I'm out. Patty, David, um, I haven't said much because from the moment you presented this product, I thought the market for this just isn't big enough to make it a viable business worth of an investment. So I'm not going to invest in some out. Thank okay. you. Guys, can I tell you where I am? Yeah, um, sure. I think the price point is an issue, but even when you get the price point down, or if you get the price point down, then market size is another issue. So I, I'm afraid I can't, I just can't find anything in there to do, help me invest. Okay. For that reason, I'm out. Thank right. you. David and Patty have lost three dragons in quick succession. Now only Peter Jones or James Khan can rescue their pitch. Had you come in and asked for £50,000, to be perfectly honest, I think you'd have got me. At £100,000, the market's just too small. OK. So I'm going to wish you the very best of luck. I think you pitch brilliantly. I think you're definitely people to invest in. I think, more importantly, your product's great. It's just too big an investment for such a small market. OK. So for that reason, that's the only reason why I'm out. OK. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bitter disappointment for the duo. Now their only hope of investment lies with James Kahn. Can he find a reason to invest where his rivals have not? Um, I like the mouse but I don't think it's big enough. 
but I really do like you guys and I'm very inspired by what you've done. So I'm looking sort of beyond the mouse really. I have 30 different businesses that I have investments in and I'm just sitting there thinking could I put some of my products into your business and leverage your expertise? The company that you mentioned, what's on the balance sheet of that company? Or one property that we own. What's the value of the property? About £240,000. So if I put in £120,000 into that company, then in theory I'd be buying a 50-50 stake. OK. So if that's something that appeals to you, I'd love to make you that offer. Could we have a quick board sure. meeting? Sure, absolutely. In a surprise move, a shrewd James Khan has worked out a way of investing in David and Patty. But in return, they must give up half of their company and agree to use their marketing skills on his other investments. But is it a deal the duo are willing to make? It's a very flattering offer, James, and we thank you very much for that. We are uncomfortable with doing a straight 50-50 split, mm -hmm. frankly, and therefore, would there be any room for negotiation for us to move it so that we still retained a controlling interest in our business? Really happy, so you could own 51%. Okay. Control isn't my issue. OK. So if the control is, is the point, then I'm relaxed. OK, so could we move it to a 60-40 split, James? Um, I'd meet you halfway. I'd go to 45. I think if we could do 60-40, we'd, we'd be very happy to accept now. You got yourself a dip? Thank you. Excellent. Fantastic. David and Patty have done it. They got more than they bargained for, but they walk away with an experienced multimillionaire investor and a brand new vision for their company. Thank you. Great to meet you.